What's going on, everybody? Farley back again. Uh, tonight, I'm going to do some uh, comics that I've picked up here in the last week. These are going to be a mixture of local comic uh, shop purchases as well as online purchases through eBay and my comic shop. So, let's get this thing started uh, with what I picked up on Thursday at my local comic shop. So, I picked up uh, Infinity Wars Prime. Excited to see where this uh, story is going to go. Um, I got the Loki variant. So I thought that was a really, really well done cover. And then picked up Infinity Wars number one. The big question, which is answered uh, in this uh, comic, is who is that? Requiem. Who's Requiem? It is answered in the very first comic. Uh, to me, it wasn't that big of a surprise. I kind of guessed it. Um, I think most people will probably guess who it is. But, uh, yeah, so far, um, pretty interesting story so far. So, uh, I would recommend uh, picking this up. And then I started uh, picking up the Batman um, I was going to start at 45, but they didn't have it, so I started at Batman 48, so I'm going to do the wedding arc, and then probably, I went ahead and added the, the series to my pull list, so I picked up 48, which I love this cover right here, that is absolutely awesome, in my opinion, look at that, and then... So that was 48. I got 49. I think all of these are pretty pretty well done covers. I think all of you are pretty familiar with, with these. And then I got 50. And then I got 51, which is leading into a new story arc after the wedding. Or the so-called wedding. So, so yeah. So I bet I added Batman to the pool list and the uh, Infinity Wars. So, uh, like I said, I'm kind of excited to see where that story goes. Uh, it's got a lot of promise. I know a lot of people may have Infinity fatigue with all the Infinity series that have uh, come out over the years. But uh, yeah, this uh, this story uh, seems to be fairly interesting so far. And um, we'll see where it goes. All right, I'll be right back to talk about some uh, online purchases. All right, so I'm back. And uh, these are going to be eBay purchases that I've gotten here in the last week. And uh, I'm just going to start with Born, which is a four-part series um, from the Max imprint on Marvel. <clears throat> that was done in 2003. And it's my favorite writer, Garth Ennis. Absolutely love Garth Ennis, and he sh should probably be the only one that writes Punisher, in my opinion. He does, he makes it so much, I won't say darker, but grittier, and I don't know, I don't know. He gives the Punisher an edge that a lot of the other writers don't give him, but um, I think I got these out of order. Hold on. There's two, three... Four and one. All right, so here's one. I absolutely love these uh, covers done by Derek Robertson. Um, and you'll see. It's number two. This is my favorite right here. Look at that centipede or whatever crawling out of the eye socket. That's just awesome. And then you got three. What's interesting about this series is it's not written from the perspective of Frank Castle. Um, of course, this is uh, takes place in Vietnam when Frank Castle is a, a captain uh, in the infantry. They're defending a one of the last fire bases uh, between Vietnam and Cambodia. And um, it's actually written from the perspective of just a regular soldier who both kind of admires but fears Frank Castle. It's really, really well done. Like I say, Garth Ennis takes the Punisher to places that uh, 
really not a lot of other riders can take him. So that's the end of that. Also, finally picked this up. Rye. Zero. First appearance of, guess who? Bloodshot. First appearance of Bloodshot. So another Valiant Zero pickup. Got a couple more of those to get, and I should have all the Zeros. And then I picked up, I've got um, the Ultimate Spider-Man. I've been trying to collect this whole uh, story art through the uh, trades. So I've got uh, the Prelude. I already had Fallout, but I, I picked up Prelude and then um, Avengers vs. New Ultimates. So I'm waiting on the last one, which is the Death of Spider-Man. And that will complete that for me. All right, I'll be right back with the final part of this video. That is going to be my purchases from my comic shop. Be right back. All right, I'm back. So let's finish this thing up, shall we? Uh, I went online to my comic shop and picked up a few titles uh, from them that I kind of couldn't find on the cheap. Um, my goal is always to find comics at the cheapest and in bunches if possible. But I uh, picked up Judge Dredd number one under Siege. This is going to be a mini series um, put out by IDW. I've not started reading this yet, but I do really, really dig that. That's a variant cover as well. This is cover B. And then I picked up number two as well. Uh, this is the, uh, I don't really know what this means. I'm still kind of a noob with a lot of this. RI-A cover. Is that like Retailer Incentive or something like that? Uh, so part two of Under Siege. Forget how many are in this going to be in this series. But hopefully there will be a regular series put out by them after this. Uh, all right, so the next two are from probably my favorite current title that's coming out. And that's uh, Garth Ennis again with Aftershock, uh, A Walk Through Hell. This is number two. This is really, really... Uh, dark, but so well written, man. I'm telling you, Garth Ennis to me is one of the best writers out there. And then here's number three, which I think is a variant cover as well. Um, maybe not. Not exactly sure. I thought I saw two covers for this one, but I could be wrong. So, and I need to pick up number four, and I'll be current with that series. And then finally, I picked up Beneath the Dark Crystal. I'm a huge fan of the original Dark Crystal. So when I saw this, I was like, I've got to pick that up. So, so that is it with all my current purchases. So got a lot of reading to do. So uh, thanks for watching as always, uh, for uh, subscribing, commenting, whatever you do. Uh, it's always appreciated. And uh, everybody take care. Hope you have an awesome weekend. I uh, think I'm going to head to the movies tomorrow and check something out. So uh, anyway, y'all have a fantastic weekend. And I'll talk to you soon. Farley out.